Good morning. Welcome to A Moment of Truth. I'm Stoney Kaiser, pastor of the Church of God of the Union Assembly here in Dalton, Georgia. I hope that you've all had a very Merry Christmas. I know that we have, and God is so good. No matter what we go through in life, He's always there for us to help us through all our troubles. Everything we could ever obtain in this life is not even close to comparing to what God can give us in all of His glory. I think about there when Jesus Christ was ready to, uh, to go back to His Father. He said, And now, Father, glorify Thy me with the glory that I had with Thee before the world was. No doubt that day will be a wonderful day when we get to see our, our God that made this world and, and our loving Savior that gave His life for us. We've been teaching about why Jesus had to come into the world, why God even sent Him here to start with. We talked about how that He was paid, He paid a ransom for us. Uh, we could never pay that. There was nothing we could ever do, nothing we could ever obtain in this life. As we go back to Psalmist David said that men live according to their their wealth and their riches, but they could never have enough to to buy one soul. Um, that's there's no way we could buy the salvation for our soul. Um, it's it has to come through that blood of Jesus Christ, and I'm so thankful today that He did that. Uh, we talked about how that Jesus Christ came to uh, to call sinners to repentance. He said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Well, we, we started on the uh, the light, how that he come to be a light. Uh, there's one thing that I want to address here today that Christ did not come for. And, and I, I hope that this will prove a blessing to you because if we could get to where we truly have the love of Christ, he told us in, in uh, Paul's writing that, that if we, the love of Christ constraineth us, that we live not unto ourselves, but unto Christ that died and rose again for us. That love of Christ is constraining us. It's, it's, it's like beckoning us to do what he done. God gave him a commandment. If you, if you want to read, it's in, in uh, John's writing. Uh, and we may just read that for you. I, I think it's some good reading. It's in, in John's writing, the, the 15th or 14th chapter and the uh, 31st verse of St. John. It said, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Today, God gave a commandment to Jesus Christ. He told him, arise, let us go hence. God sent Jesus into this world and commanded him to do something. He gave him commandment to love him and to, to reach the lost. And that's what Christ done when he come. When he come into the world, he didn't go to the righteous. He went to sinners and called them to repentance. And that's what we should learn in our life. If we truly want to be like Christ, why did God send us in this world? Why are we here? We, ha we are here to do the same thing that Jesus Christ done in a little bit different matter. Jesus came and gave his life for salvation for, for our salvation. We ought to give our life for the brother. If you read in, in uh, St. John, the 15th chapter, and I want to start at the uh, 12th verse. This is my commandment. This is Jesus speaking, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And I love that 14th verse. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. God gave Jesus a commandment, and that commandment was to come here and to give himself a ransom. He determined long before we ever was born in this world to, to give us hope and everlasting. Before the foundations were ever formed, God chose us to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and believe for the truth, and thank God that he did. I'm so glad today that he gave us this word and the spirit that he sent back with it. That love of Christ, uh, he loved us so much that he, that he went back to the Father when he died. He went back to the Father, and he sent a comforter back with us, that comforter to us, and that comforter is the Holy Ghost, and I'm so glad that he done that. As much as, as Jesus done what the Father told him to do, we ought to do what Jesus told us to do, and that's to love one another. Love is the answer today. Um, I want to go. I want to go back to uh, to where we was at in St. John the twelfth chapter, and I'm going to start at the forty six verse uh, reading down. Um, he said, "I I am come a light." into the world. I am come a light into the world. 
Why did Jesus come into the world? He come to bring light for us, to show us how we are to live. Now, you, can you just imagine what this world would be like, how miserable it would be if we lived in this world of sin and God had have never sent anything back for us to show us how to get out of this darkness? Sin is darkness. Had Jesus not come and brought light for us to shine unto us, arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee, what the first part of that said, arise, shine. Not only is Jesus a light, we are also to be a light. Uh, do, do men light a candle and put it under the bushel or on the candlestick? He wants us to be a light. Let your light so shine that men may see your good deeds and glorify your Father which is in heaven. God, this darkness that was upon the earth, he, he had to have someone to come in to give a light to, to that spark and, and light our candle. And that light was Jesus Christ, as we talked about it uh, last week, where John said he was not the light, but he was sent to bear witness of the light. In, in John's days, he come preaching that somebody would come after him. Who was it? It was Jesus Christ. When he told his disciples there, and they saw Jesus come, come and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God who taketh away the sin of the world. Don't you love Jesus today. Aren't you glad to know that he has took everything in your life? If you have sinned today and you have come to Jesus Christ and you've asked forgiveness of your sins, you, you've got that cleansing. How thankful you ought to be that Jesus Christ gave you that redemption and that salvation from all of that darkness that was in the world. He said, I am come a light into the world. This is the 46th verse of the 12th chapter of St. John, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. That's Jesus Christ. If any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. There are so many people that are judgmental out there today. Uh, you can't hardly even walk in church sometimes without people judging you for what clothes you have on. Or maybe whether you smiled at them or not. Instead of praying for somebody as we ought to do, people want to condemn. Jesus Christ didn't come into the world to condemn the world. Uh, hold this in St. John 12. We'll come back to that. I want to go to St. John 3. I want, to, I want to show you something here. Uh, Jesus Christ and the words that he spoke while he was here was the words of the Father, and that's what's going to condemn the world. You don't have to condemn somebody. They condemn themselves when they don't believe, when they don't truly follow the Lord. But listen to what Jesus Christ said in John, the third chapter and the 17th verse. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Well, if we could take that same approach in our life, God didn't put you here to condemn nobody either. He put you here to try to let the light of the gospel shine and, and let people see what God is all about. That's the kind of life that we ought to be living, that we are trying to help our fellow man. We are trying to reach out and to save the lost. When Noah preached that the flood was a coming, I, I could just about imagine him, how frantic he must have been, y'all. I've got to come and get in this ark. There's a flood coming on the world. Well, that's the way I am here today. Jesus Christ came not to condemn the world, and I'm not trying to condemn you today. I want you to know that Jesus Christ is a way for you to get out of that sin that you're in, that darkness that you're in. Come to the light. When you come to Jesus Christ and you truly get that light about you, there'll be a difference in you. You won't, you won't have the same old drabby person that you've been. There'll be a smile on your face. People People ought to be able to look at you and say, I believe that you're a Christian. They ought to be able to tell you that you're a Christian. If you don't have that kind of persona about you, take a look at yourself. Examine yourself. See whether you be in the faith or not. Jesus, God, Jesus said here in John 3 and 17, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Let's look about this condemnation for just a second. He that believeth on him is not condemned. How do we know that we are, are, are passed from death unto life? How do we not have that condemnation? Paul said it like this. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. If you're living in sin, you're living in condemnation. How do you know that you're not living in that sin anymore? We know that we have passed from... Uh, 
there is therefore no, now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. For the, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. We know that we have passed from, from uh, death unto life because we have love of the brotherhood. How, what did Jesus say? God gave him a commandment that he would do that he done. What Jesus give us a commandment to do, that we ought to do. And that's to love our brother, not to condemn and try to put people down, but to pray when somebody's in, in condemnation, that we could bring them to the light of the gospel. He said that he, had, he, had, he that believeth on him is not condemned. This is the 18th verse of the third chapter of St. John. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten of the Son of God. Why did God's Son come into this world? Why was He sent into the world? He was sent as a light to lighten your pathway. What did Isaiah say? Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness of the people. But the Gentiles shall uh, shall come to thy light and to the uh, brightness of thy rising. Today, we know that that light of the gospel is in our heart. God's given it to us to be able to give to you that light of Jesus Christ. That's how you get out of condemnation. That's why we celebrate this Christmas season that we have. That's why in this next year, we want to do all we can to reach out and to grab a hold of somebody and pull them into the net. Get If we could get everyone to get their hands on the net and pull, that's the way we're, we are today we're telling you come and help us come and help us pull this net to shore it's not going to be long before jesus christ comes back to this world and if we're not what we ought to be when he does come back we will be lost and undone forever that day is coming that that door of mercy is going to be shut don't let it close you on the outside let's help pull it all to shore uh jesus christ let's go back to john the 12th chapter again, and the 46th verse. I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. Here are those that are, that are going to be lost. He that rejected me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. These things that Jesus spoke was, was things that God had given him to speak. And today, if you will accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, if you will just come and let the Lord have his way in your life, he can make a new for you. Come down to the church. May God bless you is our, is our prayer. Happy New Year, by the way, and hope that the Lord will help you to have a good resolution for him. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.